Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to another Warframe video here on the channel. Now, today is the day after the release of Update 36 Jade Shadows. So, you might see, I am actually playing as Jade for the purposes of this video, mostly because I won a video from the wonderful Void Kid. If you haven't seen his content before, go check him out on Twitch. Uh, I'll link him in the description, he is bloody brilliant. But Jade is really powerful and she's really, really capable for modding and stuff. I've just got to put some arcanes on her. But like, she's actually incredible. She, Her abilities seem really cool sounding, so we will go and check her out in a minute. But that is not the purpose of today's video. The purpose of today's video is linked to Jade Shadows though, in the form of looking at the new clan operation, Operation Belly of the Beast. Now, there are two ways to get your Volatile Motes for Belly of the Beast, which is the Volatile Motes that you need to collect for the Operation. Yes, there are also the Vestigial Motes. The Vestigial Motes will get you the parts for Jade and her three weapons. But if you want to participate in the Clan event, you need to get the Volatile Motes. Now, you can either get them from these alerts. You get a new alert every half an hour, and they last for an hour and a half. Um, they give you some credits and they give you 10 guaranteed volatile motes or you can also go and do the ascension missions either the operation ascension mission on Brutus Uranus or you could go to the Lorunda relay and speak to Ordis but we will come to that in a minute for now we're going to have a look at what the alerts are like so if you go and look at the alerts, you'll notice that there's like three at any one time. We've got three right now. There is a mobile defense infestation, there is a grenier hijack, and there is also an infestation spy mission. We're going to go do the spy mission in this one just to show you guys what they're like. They are just level 50 missions, um, but you will get more Jade Light Eximus in these missions. And yeah, it'll be an easy place to go and kill your Eximus. So without further ado... I'm just going to jump into this mission and we'll show you a little bit what they look like. So guys, here we are in the mission and it seems we're actually in the Steel Path version of the mission as well, so this really will test Jade's capabilities uh, against some level 150 uh, infestation. Still, oh good god. She has very little armour. Even even like heavily modded, she has very, very little armor. Okay. Yes, I am dead. N none of you realized. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, Steel Path might have been a bad idea, but... So, those are the Jade Light Xmas guys. They are pretty tanky. But what they do is they launch a Jade Light Beacon, and the Jade... Those of you that know Warframe lore, so in other words, not Mystic, um, <laughs> the Jade Light is... It was the Oricon punishment system, and it's pretty much designed to be like an instant death. Um, and effectively that is what they're striking you with, so it does stand to reason it's going to deal a lot of damage to your Warframe. They're quite, they're quite challenging to beat to be fair. But, um, maybe, how, how do I mod Jade? That is the question. If any of you have any ideas on how to mod Jade, please let me know in the comments. I would be all ears to hear what your thought processes are. Oh my god. Those Jade Light Xmas are pretty much one shotting me, man. She's already level 4, to be fair. All in all, though, these missions 
they're not exactly the hardest guys and I think this is probably for the clan event at least this is probably the easiest way to do it if you want to get the vestigial moats though you will not get those from this mission vestigial moats can only be found from the ascension mission so this mission is definitely the best if you want the clan event but not necessarily if you want the personal rewards I've also just noticed that I'm ranking up something called the glory I'm assuming that's like a jade thing but does that give extra mastery rank points is the question Ah, so that does give it does give mastery rank points. So that means Jade's worth nine thousand mastery rank points, which is pretty incredible. So that was a little look at just the just one of the mission alerts, guys. The other way, then, like I say, is you go down to Uranus and you will see Operation Belly of the Beast. It is a node called Brutus. There is also, um, so you can either do the regular ascension when you click on it, or there is the Operation Belly of the Beast ascension. The Operation one is the one that gives you the volatile moats that you need for the clan event. So without further ado, let's load into it. So guys, here we go. The Stalker is here as well to help, which that is the secret that I was going to tell you about later on. And I will tell you about it after this. After this mission, I will show you guys how this happens. But during this mission, you get a lovely bit of conversation between Parvo Scranum and Ordis, which links a bit back to the Orden Karis storyline, which is about time that they revisited that. Also, Luke, where is this Prax? Because I have not got it. There's nothing there, Luke. Luke, there is nothing there. Yeah, there's, there's not. Interesting. Right. So, guys, the first part of this mission was to defend the moat collector. Collect the moats. And then you head to the extraction capsule, which you have to take to the elevator. And some of you guys might have tuned into my stream yesterday, or you might have played it yourselves. What you got to do is you've got to support that capsule all the way to the top of the elevator whilst keeping it powered. Now, that is a little bit easier said than done, especially if you try to do this mission solo. But let's go for it. Let's get the power going. You can also find sister beacons, which will spawn a sister to fight when you reach the top. Oh dear. It seems my teammates have not given us a choice in that matter today. Squad's ability strength has been increased. Squad's shield effectiveness has been increased. Uh, so yeah, the way this guy, this mission goes, guys, as you can see, there is the little indicator on the left-hand side that shows you how high up you are. Um, it also shows you your elevator power. You want to keep this thing as high power as you can. Using the boosted ionic charges will also increase your speed. And I have already had a personal message come through to me asking, where's the music? I will get the music up for you guys, literally, like, over the next day or two. I promise. The music is coming, guys, so stay tuned. Squad's weapon damage has been increased, guys. I'm, bo I'm boosting you as best as I can. So guys, you'll also see on ah oh, my face cam's covering the indicator. There you go. If I, move, if I move my face cam for you, um, you'll see occasionally that on the meter there will be arrows that appear. If the arrows appear, that means that you have boosted the elevator, which means that you'll go up even quicker. So that's definitely the useful thing that you want to be doing. You want to get that those boosts going. You want to launch your way up this elevator shaft as quickly as possible. Because it does take a little bit of time. 
it does it's not exactly a quick short and easy feat so get your weight to the top of the elevator enjoy yourselves have fun it's a fun mission it's a fun event it's a really cool quest line it's pretty cool update to be fair and it has god tier music yeah it really does have god tier music so yeah stay tuned guys i'll get that up on the channel as soon as possible possibly get the login music up tonight in all honesty so stay tuned for that but um yeah all in all jade shadows a bloody brilliant update from de as always and obviously it will get even more exciting next month when they give us some sneak peeks at Tenocon of Warframe 1999 and what could be coming after that because I'm sure they'll tease more than just 1999 they've never just focused on one thing so I'm sure we'll see alright let's get to the top of this elevator got him back up again so guys, when you reach the top of the elevator, I'm just gonna—I've just restarted the recording just to show you guys what happens if you've collected your three sister beacons. You'll reach the top, and then all of a sudden, you get this: a sister of Parvos will spawn in to attack you. Make sure you can't escape. So we can shut her down, and then once you shut her down, you proceed with the mission as normal, which is where you have to escort the capsule. To extraction. Oh, my God, this is actually insane. I must say I quite like Jade. I don't quite know how to use her yet, but I like her anyway. I have no idea how to play her. All I know is we need to get this capsule to extraction. So. Let's get this capsule to extraction. So, as you extract guys, the Runda Relay waits, there Jade's volatile moats can be committed to the sun. So we collected, as you can see, because it was a steel path mission, we got a relic, we got a secondary arcane, we got some steel essence, we got some volatile moats, we got some vestigial moats. All in all, really, really cool. Now I'm just going to leave the lobby for the last bit of this video, and we're going to head over to the Runda Relay. So guys, when you get to the Lorunda Relay, you want to head downstairs into like the navigation mission control area, and you're going to head to the back of that room, or you could just use fast travel, of course, to head to Ordis. But yeah, this is where Ordis is. He's at the back here, and you've got some tabs that you can use when you speak to Ordis. Now, once this event is over, Ordis will take up position in Drifter's Camp, where you can speak to him. But here you have release vestigial moats, so you can use the vestigial moats that you get from the Ascension mission to buy Jade's parts, uh, the Evansong bow, the Contair um, knives, and the Harmony scythe. As I already said yesterday in the stream, they are the antithesis of Stalker's weapons. For the Dread, you have the Evansong. For the Despair, you have the Contair. For the Hate, you have Harmony. They are the antithesis of each other. You can also buy some arcanes, as you can see, from the vestigial moats. Um, you also have commit volatile moats and commit mo mo volatile moats clan only, where you can buy different things. For example, I'm now going to buy myself a Belly of the Beast emblem, and I'm also going to buy the Enlightened Hate skin. Um, so those are quite cool, there are also the clan sigils if you didn't get those in the last one, there's also more arcanes that you can buy. There is also the regular commit volatile moats, um, one where you can buy yourself uh, another simulacrum, the, the ballroom, you can buy stance former, you can buy more arcanes, you can buy 
Basmu, Seti Lacera, the Fluctus Rock skin, Prominus Wisp Totem, Krios Signa if you didn't buy it last time. Um, there is the Belly of the Beast Sigil as well, a low Guardian Chestplate, and when we unlock them there are the Asperus Ephemeras. So keep your eyes out for when those come. The final tab though, a shared purpose, when you click on it it will come up with a little note and this is how you play as the stalker in those ascension missions guys assist a random squad of tenno in a belly of the beast ascension mission as the stalker you will earn rewards as if you're a squad member you can literally become the stalker and no one will know it's you but you get the rewards anyway what's the hate stalker mode is finally here in warframe but with all that in mind guys i hope you enjoy the event i know i already am and with all that said and done, guys, I hope you found the video informative, enjoyable, and fun to watch, as always. And I'll see you all in the next one.